Hey, welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about candlesticks. So, candlesticks were discovered in Japan and are one of the most efficient ways to do stock trading. So, this is a candle. Let me add wicks to it. And yeah. So, this is a green candle. So, there are basically two types of candles a green one and a red one. I mean the ca the color can be uh, changed in different patterns and different uh, like charting platforms and you can even change your color but the most basic ones are the green and red so the green one says that the price open at this level where the candle is starting and it closed at this level where the candle is uh, like it is on the top so this is the green candle and if we draw a red candle here let me do that for you so if we draw a red candle here yeah. so a red candle says that the price opened at this level and it closed at this level so a green one says that the price moved up and a red one says that the price moved down so this was all about the candle opening and closing now let's talk about uh, other things so we have this whole thing is a candle body and this thing right here these two parts these are the wicks of the candle so what do these means let us assume that this is a 10 this is a 5 this is a 1 and this is a 15 so in a green candle you already know that price open right here so it means that the market open at five dollar price right out here okay and it closed at the ten dollar price right but let us assume this candle is a daily uh, base candle so it will mean that in the whole day the price even went up to fifteen dollars which is the end of this week here and the price even fell down to one dollar which is the end of this week here so this means that the market opened at five dollar it even went up to fifteen it even fall down to one but it ultimately closed at ten dollar price if we do that thing the same thing in the red candle it will mean that the market opened at ten dollar because it is a red candle and it may have gone up to this fifteen dollar at this week here it may have even went fall down to one dollar right out with this week but ultimately the candle closed at five dollars so that is what the red candle means okay so now the problem with candlesticks is that we personally don't believe in candles but if we get those candles on support and resistance and we are also getting the same signals with other indicators which the candlesticks are telling us then they have a great importance okay but if you find them in middle of a trend and you have no signals from other indicators and uh, things then we don't personally believe in their importance okay so let's get started with some of the important candlesticks so the first one is the marubosu and this is a really strong candle so let's draw a green marubosu now you will see that this is a marubosu now there is no wick in this candle and if there is a wick it will be like even like this much small and which has almost no relevance so a wick will be a lot smaller and there is like you can just say that there is almost no wick in this candle and the red one will obviously look like this here so the size can be anything but it is a normal without wick candle now the thing is if you get a green uh, colored marubozu on a support and resistance you should expect the price will go up and in case of the red one you should expect that the price will go down so i'm here with a chart for the marubozu candle now you can see that this is the fibonacci grid with the uh, strong support level of 50 here so 0.50 right here and you can see when the market came on this level there was a green marubozo formed and after that you can just see how the price uh, started rising you can just see it is still rising and then it is just going up so on the support level when there was a marubozo it was a highly important candle and let's see this in a downtrend 
Now here you can see that this is a resistance level of, of the Fibonacci grid which is uh, 1.27 right here. So on this level we got the uh, red colored Marubozo and after that you can just see the other three candles successfully were also red. So this was also an indication that the price should fall and it fall uh, to this level. And now let's go ahead and cover the other candles. Okay, so let's move on to the another candle which is the hammer in this case. So let me show you how a hammer looks like. Now you will find a body which will be small enough and there will be a wick which will be almost twice of the body. So this is one part and this will be second part right out here. So you will get the body which will be short and the wick should be almost two times of the body and there is a possibility you will find a really small wick or you may not find a wick on the top but there should be a long wick on the bottom so that is called a hammer and you may find this thing in green as well as red again so go ahead and create that one as well so this one will be a green hammer here now there is a thing that if we find a hammer in a downtrend we called it a hammer but if we found a hammer in a uptrend we call it a hanging man. Now there is not a big significance of the color of a hammer or a hanging man but the thing is let's say we are in a downtrend and we find a green color hammer then we will say that it has a little more significance than a red one because a hammer will lead to a trend reversal so if it was a downtrend we get a green color hammer which means that it is already a green one then it has a little more significance that the price will go up and if we were in a uptrend and we get a red color hanging man then it would mean that yes the significance is a little bit more as compared to a green one but it's not a big change now personally I don't think so that there is a lot of importance of hammer or hanging man if they are found just uh, alone. But if we get the another candle as a reverse one, let's say we have this green one in a uptrend and we get another candle which is something like this one which is a red candle and is below this one, the below this hanging man then this is a 200% sure confirmation that the market shall go ahead and go in the trend reversal and it will just go ahead and get down. And let's go with the hammer so to avoid confusion let me delete these candles here. So let me delete them first of all. Okay and uh, just avoid the color basically and let's think now this is a hammer so if we get the next candle so hammer is always found in the downtrend and let's say the the trend is down here we got the hammer and let's say the next candle is a green one which opens above this one so let's say we get this kind of candle then that is a short confirmation of the uptrend this is a downtrend here you can see we got the hammer and the next candle is a green one also is above this hammer so this was a short confirmation of the trend reversal and the trend got reversed. Now let's see this thing on the hanging man. So here the trend was uptrend a really strong one and you can just see these are the support and resistance lines so always make sure that you are always working uh, with the candles on the support and resistance. So on the resistance here we got the hanging man and the next candle was also a uh, like it closed and it even opened below this one so it was again a trend reversal and you can just see the trend again reversed right out here. So coming to the third important candle which is a shooting star. Now a shooting star is uh, exactly opposite of a hammer so it will be like a small body right here and a wick but the wick will be in the opposite direction. So the longer wick will be right here and there can be a negligible smaller wick uh, in the downward shadow as well. Now the thing is that the shooting star is not found in a downtrend. It will be always in a uptrend and should be near the resistance level. 
and if you find a shooting star with some conditions then it will be a trend reversal and the uptrend will become a downtrend uh, very soon the next candle should have its close below this close so the close of this candle is this level right here and let's say the next candle is right here and the close should be below this one so the first condition was this and there is a like it is not a condition but it has a great significance to be told that if you find okay sorry yeah so if you find a candle which was be before this one so let's say we have a candle right here now if we have a green candle before the shooting star then it has a really lot of significance so let's move on to the practical part now you should always uh, watch for other indicators as well here is the Fibonacci grid and which is showing that we have a resistance level on this line right here and you can see we got a shooting star on this resistance line now this was a green star like it really doesn't have a lot of significance about the green one or the red one because like a red one will have little more significance than a green one uh, but it really doesn't make a lot of difference so we have this thing now we got a shooting star here and the low of next candle was uh, below the first one and the first candle of this one was also a green one so here all the conditions got satisfied and the trend changed into a down downtrend right out here here is another example now this is again a resistance level here and you will see that this uptrend became a downtrend right here uh, when we got this red colored shooting star having a green candle in the previous one and the next candles uh, low was below this first one so all the conditions got satisfied and this became a downtrend out there okay the final one is a dozy and a dozy is a really small candle so you will find that the open and close is almost uh, very near or it can be even the same so the open and close will be really near and it really doesn't matter what the wicks are so the wicks can be uh, these or the wicks can be even this or the wicks can be even this much big so it really doesn't make a lot of difference with the wicks but the body should have the opening and closing price uh, very close to each other okay so I just came up with a red color dozy now there is almost no color basically so it like the opening and closing is uh, too uh, like too near so it really doesn't makes a color so you will not even be able to notice the color and it really doesn't have any significance on the dozy now uh, a dozy means uncertainty so let's say we have a uptrend going on everyone is buying and it is a strong uptrend and we get a dozy right out here so let's say we we got a dozy here so what will happen is it means that there became a uncertainty so all the bulls were buying and buying and now they got the dozy so like they, they got all uncertain so which means that the trend may reverse so a dozy is a really strong reversal here and it has a great significance when it is found on the resistance levels in uptrend it is also true for the downtrend so you may even get the dozy in the downtrend and it has the significance in downtrend as well so let's say we we got the dozy here and it means that everyone was uh, selling 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 and now we have got a dozy which means a uncertainty in the market so the trend shall reverse and it will lead to a uptrend now i would recommend that go ahead and wait for the next candle for the confirmation so it will be the similar like the previous ones so let's say it is a uptrend we got a rosy now if the next candle uh, it, it has a low of like the low of dozy was above the low of next candles so the low of this candle is below the previous one it will lead to a confirmation and the price shall fall and the trend will reverse same is true for the downtrend as well so if we got a candle right here whose closing is above the closing of the dozy so the price closed here and in this case the price is closing here then this is again a confirmation for the up so coming to the practical part here you can see that uh, we got the resistance level here and we were having a uptrend and on the resistance we got a dozy so you can just see how close the opening and closing is 
and wicks doesn't matter. So we have a dozy here, which means a uncertainty. It's close was this, and the next candle is closing below this close. So it is closing here. Its close was here, which is a confirmation, and the downtrend became right out here. So it it falled. Taking the other example. Here we were having a downtrend right out here, so price was going down and down, and this was a support level of the Fibonacci grid. And on the support level, we got the dozy again, and with the confirmation of the next candle, whose closing was above the closing of this dozy, we got the uh, indication that the trend shall reverse, and we got a uptrend right out here. Now I would again repeat my words that don't trust these candles until they are uh, very near to support and resistance and you are getting the same signals through other indicators as well. Now an important thing to notice here is that you should not trust them below 30 minutes. So a one day candle, a daily candle will be uh, like of great significance but you can go down to 30 minutes but not less than 30 minutes. So a candle which is less than 30 minutes doesn't have any significance and if you go in the market you will get a lot of candles so hundreds of candle patterns and candles but don't waste your time in studying all of them you should know the major and the important ones which we just covered right here and just start relying on other tools as well and don't go ahead and rely on the candles completely so this was all for this lecture I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching